Hello, this is Flights in Asia, and today we have some updates from Singapore. Taking into account Singapore's experiences with the COVID-19 pandemic and the anticipated recovery in air travel demand, the operator of Singapore's Changi Airport will be restarting construction on its largest expansion project, Terminal 5, with updates to its plan. The newest updates to the plan for the Changi Airport Terminal 5 project was first revealed by Singapore Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong during an address at Singapore's National Rally Day. Following Prime Minister Lee's address, Singapore Changi Airport's operator, the Changi Airport Group, issued a press release with the details of the updated plan. These new updated plans for the T5 project was made following the two-year pause due to the COVID-19 pandemic. During the downtime, the stakeholders involved, including the Changi Airport Group, the Civil Aviation Authority of Singapore, and Singapore's Ministry of Transport, took into consideration the experiences and have made the changes to their plans. To note, while there will be some changes, the airport project will still be located at the Changi East location where work has been ongoing prior to the pandemic, which would see the airport have three runways up from the current dual runway system. Though now with the experiences of the last few years, the airport will be making changes to meet the future demands of air travel for Singapore, making one of Southeast Asia's major air hubs more environmental friendly, and also making the airport more capable and ready to handle future pandemics. Among the first highlights of this new plan for the T5 project will be drawing on the lessons from the COVID-19 pandemic. The Terminal 5 project will be designed with the flexibility to operate as smaller subterminals. It will have a space that could be converted for use during contingencies including testing or segregating high-risk passengers. The terminal will also feature contactless passenger systems at touch points, and the terminal will be using enhanced ventilation systems to increase the use of fresh air with the aim to reduce the transmission of diseases. To make the airport more environmental friendly, the plans for the T5 project will also now include the use of solar panels, smart building management systems, and a district cooling and thermal energy storage. T5 will also feature the use of sustainable alternative fuels and provide provisions for fixed ground power and cooling for aircraft parked at gates. Along with reducing the environmental impact of T5, T5 will also incorporate more technology to automate it and digitize the airport operations for both passenger experiences and manpower productivity. The new plans will now include Terminal 5 seeing the use of and the deployment of autonomous vehicles to support baggage handling and cargo transport, along with robotics for baggage handling. Despite the updates to the plan, Singapore's government and the Changi Airport Group are still aiming for the airport to be a location to be enjoyed by both Singaporeans and visitors. The updated plans for the T5 project will feature a dedicated ground transport center and a new urban development project, the Changi East Urban District, will be set adjacent to the Terminal 5 building. These are some of the modifications and updates to the plan for the T5 project, which was first announced in 2013. It still remains as Singapore Changi Airport's biggest expansion projects, covering an area of around 1,080 hectares, nearly as big as the existing Changi Airport facilities. Following the disruption of the COVID-19 pandemic, construction is expected to restart within the next two years for a completion by around the mid-2030s. Once completed, T5 is expected to boost the capacity at Changi Airport by around 50 million passengers, boosting the airport's overall capacity to over 100 million passengers annually. The global experiences of the COVID-19 pandemic has changed how we see things and we have seen some changes in the aviation industry. In Singapore, we are now seeing the first modification of a design for an airport taking into consideration pandemic control measures. So with that, it's very likely that other airports when making future design considerations will be looking at Changi Airport for how it approaches this. Pandemics aside, the Changi Airport has been a model airport and a well-loved one by travelers worldwide and other systems and ideas from the Changi Airport Terminal 5 project will likely be emulated at airports around the world soon. I definitely hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. This has been Flights in Asia. 
highlighting the news and updates from the aviation and travel scene in the Asia-Pacific. For more of the latest updates, you can check out the website at www.flightsinasia.com. In the meantime, thank you for watching and have a great day.